welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. <laughs> I'm already shaking my head, and that's usually reserved for the end of the show, and I'm shaking my head. Yeah, hi, everybody. Samantha, put your hand down. You're going to knock your mic. Bing, bing, bing. Yes, you already hit it once. I did. John's going to love that. I know, right? I heard that. <laughs> Samantha, Samantha, Lisa. Samantha, 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 Samantha. How long do you think I could do that all? Like, how long do you Please think? I wonder if there's a world. Oh, my don't. God. Maybe maybe there's a world record of just saying somebody's name over and over. Do, do you think it would drive you crazy? Samantha, yes. Samantha, yes. Samantha. Yes. I could do it. Nope. I think don't. I could do it so easily. Don't. No. You don't think that's the way to go? No. All right, Samantha. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm doing good. Good. And I just like to officially say I am over the finger splint. Yes. It's a good sport, but I still have to sport it. But I just want to go on record. I'm officially over it. <laughs> I just want to go on record as the person that says... Just accept the fact that you broke your finger. You dislocated your finger. You stretched your finger. It's going to be now you got an ugly finger. I got an ugly finger. It's a story, right? People are going to be like, oh. It's not a good finger to be ugly either. (laughs) I know, right? Mine, my ugly finger is my ring finger, right? And remember, don't you remember for the longest time, people, when we used to work at Pennington, they thought, because they didn't wear a wedding ring, they thought, oh, maybe there was something odd about that. And I'm like, I I hurt my, just ask the question, people. (laughs) Don't start talking behind my back. Just ask, yeah. right? I hurt my finger. Ring don't fit on it. Yeah. That's that simple. Ring don't fit on it. The ring don't fit. The ring don't fit, right? If the ring don't fit. <laughs> you just must quit. <laughs> right? You just must quit. <laughs> that's it. Tell me that's not a sign. If the ring don't fit, how is that not a sign? I don't know. Right? Like 10, 8 years, 10 years into marriage, the ring don't fit. That should have been a sign. That should have been a sign. Should have been a sign. Should have been a sign, right? Blatant sign. Blatant Uh, sign. I don't know. Right? How's your week going, though, Lisa? Samantha, I'm so, so tired today. It's been, uh, it's been one week. You remember, you know that song by the Bare Naked Ladies? One week since you. But it just seems like an odd song to sing to you, so. Yeah. Because it's about breaking up and we're not a couple. No. So it's not the right song, so. Let's. Let's refrain. Let's let's refrain from that. <laughs> what type of week? It's been a highway to hell. <laughs> it's been that week. You know why, Samantha? Because the 70 million hasn't been won yet. No. And I, I need it to be won. Have you regurgitated it? Have you regurgitated our tickets? We're we're back. Yeah, more money you owe. I got a tab for you. Oh, I got a tab with mom too. Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah, you're not getting out of it, right? You're paying up, I'll tell you that right I'm now. I'm doubling down, but I'm not winning anything. So no, we, like... we won nothing. We didn't even win a free ticket. So for Friday, oh. right, I'll reinvest to put my money back in and, and, oh. you'll, and you'll owe half of it. Good Lord. But I'm so tired, right? Because it's so busy. Because <laughs> right? everybody wants a ticket. Everybody wants a ticket. Everybody wants. Canada's largest jackpot ever. <sighs> Yes. Right? So crazy. And it's funny because, you know, I get that the Americans, America, that they have bigger ones and they got their Powerball and it's like huge, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? Ours ain't taxed. No. That 70 million goes in my pocket. (laughs) Thank you very much. (laughs) Right? You win. And you know, every time I see somebody who wins something and, and and they're shown on the TV, all I think is, now people know who you are. Now people know who you are. And, and let's be honest, right? If we win 70 million, it comes, to quote my husband, hassle, headaches, hassles, and horse shit comes along with that. <laughs> right? Headaches, hassles, and horse shit comes along with $70 million. Headaches, hassles, and horse shit. Yeah. He I wants no that. part of it. He wants no part of 70 million. And I'm thinking, guess what? Your name's not on the ticket, so don't worry. <laughs> You got no part of seventy million, actually. Oh my god! Samantha does. <laughs> Headaches, hassles, and horseshit. Headaches, hassles, and horseshit. Oh my god! Leave it to your husband. I know, right? Right. That's so funny. Too funny. Too, Too funny. So well, what else has know, been happening? Well, I got something. Okay, because you know I have Spotify, right? Yes. You made me get it. Two yeah, years ago. I did. And then you just Christmas. make, you make bad playlists. <laughs> and I had, cause I had to make a Christmas playlist 
And I make good playlists for me because they're for me. I know. And because I don't care about you. Apparently okay. not. Apparently no, don't. I do not. <laughs> it's fine. I don't really care about you either. So, nah, take that. <laughs> right? So, I got this thing from Spotify saying, um, hey, we have something for you. And I'm like, oh, okay, what? And it was like a journey of my musical, of what I've downloaded. And I oh. just, it made me feel so like heard. I, I, they understood me and they're like, this is. Or they're this- creeping you. No, I thought it was great. I think they're creeping you. <laughs> And I'm like, Spotify gets me. That's that's what, I, at the Aww. end of it all, I, all I thought was Spotify gets Is me. Spotify your new best friend? Is Spotify might be my new best friend. Like, can you phone Spotify when you're having a bad day and say, hey, Spotify? <laughs> no, but they're going to know the right song to play for me. Well, that's true. And you can't really phone me either. You can text me. <laughs> you can only phone if it's a dire emergency. A dire emergency. Right? You know. Interesting. Aww. So that's what Spotify is doing for you. It's filling yeah. that void. Apparently. <laughs> hmm, interesting. You know what I learned today? What? At work. I literally can't write anymore. I can't what? write. What do you mean? I can't write. All I need to do, I write because I was filling out, I had to do some paperwork and I was writing. I had to sign my name. I can't write anymore. I don't write. I type everything. I write nothing. I can't hold the pen. I hold the pen for one second. It's like the world's biggest exercise because I'm like, ow, 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 right? Ow, right? Ouch. That, that's not comfortable anymore. The pen does not fit into the grooves like it used to. No, because we'd hardly ever use a pen. Anymore. We hardly ever use a pen. And then I go to sign my name. I had to sign it two times. That's two completely different Lisa Gibsons right there. I'm like, Oh my God. If I was like in a court of law right now, they'd be like, which one is the real one? Good question. Good. Yeah. I can't write. I wonder, friends of the podcast, anybody else not able to write anymore? (laughs) I feel like I need to take like a cursive course or something. (laughs) Cursive for dummies, for adult dummies. Yes, because you forgot how to write. I forgot completely how to write. And everything's everything's on your phone or it's on a laptop or whatever. Right. Like I know I'm, I'm the fastest thumb typer. Right, I'm double thumb type, boom, 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 super fast. But uh, when I got to write, oh, geez, it's not oh good. Oh my god, that it's is so not funny. Good, yes. So last Saturday, ah, uh, yes. What did you do last Saturday, Lisa? <laughs> I held a party. Yeah, for one party for one. <laughs> I held an '80s party for one. Yes, you did. So Saturday mornings. One of the radio stations plays, oh, it's Cruise FM. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Shauna. Uh, they play the 80s. Uh-huh. So I was doing my doing my, my little errands, touring around in my little clown car. <laughs> Cr- songs cranked up, right? Like I like to. And you know what comes on the radio? Well, yeah, you do know because I sent you a clip. Yes, you did. And I sent the HHG a clip. And I'm like, look who's having a party. <laughs> Frankie goes to Hollywood. Relax. Go to it when you want to jump to it. And I was like, oh, my God. I don't need anybody but me. I really just need a part. I really, right? I was having so much fun at my party for one. You were. It was like, oh, the best. I'm like. There should just be only 80s music. Can you make an 80s, an 80s CD for, or an 80s whatever it is, an 80s Spotify for our trip? I can try. What do you mean you can try? If I, I give you, ha- I already no, have no, but one. Yeah, I know, well, but it's bad. You've already decided that everything, every playlist that I make you hate. So because your 80s playlist is like Marvin Gaye. No, it's not. Yes, it is, and Rick no, it's Astley, not. and Rick Astley. Well, of course, it's gonna have him on it because and it awesome. doesn't have like my stuff, like Frankie goes to Hollywood and I stuff love like Frankie that. Goes to Hollywood. Well, it was not on last summer. Remember, don't you remember last summer on the beach? I'm okay, like, we can't even play this. Up. It's horrible. Give me a list, right? And I'm like, this is just. Give me a list. Maybe we. This is what we should do. Let's both come up with a list, and people can see who has the better choice of '80s hits. No. Oh, because you know I'm going to win it. No. Uh-huh. I'll win it. You won't win it. You um, didn't have The Cure. You didn't have Psychedelic I love first. The cure. Oh, I love The Cure, but they're not on my list. 
They weren't on your list. I remember. Oh my God, stop picking on me. I remember your list was like, I heard it through the grapevine and R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I'm like, what is this? Well, because I like a little soul with my 80s music. Really? Okay, because she was in the 70s where she belongs. Because it was a 70s, 80s playlist. It shouldn't. It should just be I an 80s. I now have a strictly 80s playlist. Mm, and I bet you it's all top 40 80s. No, it's not. That's it's... why That's why we would not have been friends back in the club days. Uh, no, I like Euro trash. It's just like everybody else. I don't think you did. I did. I don't think. Rick. Uh, you like Rick Astley too much. I liked all music, Lisa. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, Samantha. Even 80s rap I enjoyed. Mm, I don't know. I'm just saying, let's build a list and see. Oh, stop talking. Right? Let's just build a list. Put your, put your money where your mouth is. Okay. Well, that being said, okay. I have to ask, what? why are you trying on Walmart clothes? You got money to buy mall clothes. <laughs> what is the difference if I wanted to just try on Walmart clothes? Okay. So here, picture this, people. <laughs> the same day she has her little dance party in her car, in her clown car, I get another picture. She's taking, she's putting on Walmart clothes. And I'm like, girl, you got money for mall clothes. Because I needed some short sleeve shirts for some, for work. <laughs> and you know, I get cheap. Yes. So I go to the Walmart, right? I'm cheap for summer clothes. I go to the Walmart. Oh my God. Okay. But the shirt you tried on. Oh. I'm not sure what you thought you saw on I the I don't know. It, it looked even worse. It was sure really, off. really bad. <laughs> Wasn't it? It was really bad, it and wasn't good. I I had a hunch it wasn't good. That's but that's why I was just looking for backup. Um, I didn't. I wasn't loving it. I wasn't like ah 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 ah. I'm loving it. Wasn't that at all? What was, kind of backup were you hoping from that? No, script? I was looking for reassurance that yes, it is horrible. Yes, and I, I do believe I said yes, you, it's hideous. You said it's not good, Lisa. <laughs> it's not, it's not good. good. It's Samantha, not I said, good. is this shirt bad? And you're like, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> right? Uh, at least I'm honest. Well, and I appreciate that. You so know yeah, what I could have done to you. No, but would I would have. But I already be, kind of knew. This, this would have been. This would have been a Lisa. <laughs> As I like to coin the phrase. I would have, I could have said, oh my God, it looks awesome. Knowing full well, you looked a little, little ridiculous. I know. But then what I would have done, cause I don't trust you sometimes. <laughs> I would have then sent a picture to the HHG and the HHG would have been like, what are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> right. Cause she's thinking too. Yeah. Girl, you got money. Go shop at the mall. Go shop. You buy your mall clothes. You don't need to buy Walmart clothes. Go buy mall clothes. But sometimes I'm just cheap that way, right? When especially with the summer, whether it's casual or work clothes, I find there isn't, mm, there isn't a summer sale somewhere. Summer's already gone in retail world. In the retail, I know, world. right? But I need some short sleeves. I'm getting hot. I need some short sleeves for those hot days. Hot, hot, hot. Right when I'm in my like short sleeve cardigan sweater, and everybody's like, mm, "What's with the sweater?" What is up with that? Right? I'm like, it's a sweater. Right? Oh. I can't just wear my scrubs. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. You know what? Here's the thing, Samantha. There's going to be a lot of changes that are going to have to happen. Oh, why? Change. It's a coming. <laughs> it's a coming. I feel it in the wind. Oh, the you? answer, my friend, is blowing <laughs> in the wind. the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. <laughs> because here's the thing. We're getting to the tail end of this pandemic, right? Or so we believe. And you know what I'm thinking? Uh-huh. Is that once it's over, we're going to have to learn, or people in general, I guess, people in general are going to have to learn how to people again. And what does that mean? We haven't peopled. What we does, haven't We haven't peopled. <laughs> what does peopling mean? mean well let's say okay you and i haven't gone out for a meal at a restaurant in a in in 18 months i don't know what's what's that look like now we haven't peopled we haven't peopled together we may step out in public we may not even know each other anymore oh dear god right we haven't we need to learn how to people again we have not peopled in 18 months i can guarantee you it'll be exactly the same as i don't before. know i don't know i think people are people have to learn how to people oh my god we've stopped peopling it's very possible, Lisa. Right. So people are going to have to learn how to, the people have to learn to people. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. right. I think it's going to be an important step. I think for you, yes. 
for everybody. I think I think nothing is nothing is going to feel like it was. Well, and and it's not supposed to. No, right. So that's why we have to learn how to people. We have to learn how to people. Right. We have to learn In to a brand do. New world. Right. We have to learn to do the bottom part of our makeup again. Yeah. Right. We got to go back to the lipstick. <laughs> we have to go back to the lipstick. I got to find my ipstick again. And and shave. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Got to got to get rid of the chin whiskers and the and the fuzzy mustache and the fuzzy mustache right we got to get rid of those things right i got to pay attention to those two little things that get on the side of my mouth right now they're not my biggest concern because they're covered with the mask all day exactly once that mask is gone and and then you have to learn to manage your facial expressions yes you do and you have to <laughs> pay attention to make sure that you don't have like the chive between your teeth this is true because right now we don't have to worry about that uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. I want to know if, if with, with the facial expressions, if I roll my eyes and smile, because I feel that's what I've been doing during pandemic times, rolling my eyes, <laughs> but with a smile. So in my, so, so under my mask, it's okay. That's what I think. Okay, they can still see your eyeballs, Lisa. <laughs> I know. I think I've been doing it backwards. You know what else I think, Samantha? I think in my head, this has been my new thing. I think I'm answering everything. At, with 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 a fuck you at the end so this would be the thing and i mean everything so like ask me if i want fries with that fries would you like fries with that sure fuck you <laughs> that's what i'm thinking is that a sign of covid burnout <laughs> ask me another question let's see if it applies ask me if i want ask me if i want a coffee would you like a coffee oh sounds good fuck you <laughs> right I, fuck I you got, i got one okay can I have a lotto ticket? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Right? I think everything I feel in my in I in my mind is 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 answered with fuck you. Right? I, my I'm, my body is yes you can, but my mind is fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Oh my god, that's kind of the that's kind, it's so funny that you say that because I I do believe that people are going into that sort of COVID burnout. Yeah. Because they've had to go through a lot of different levels of people's emotions as they go into retail and all yep. that kind of stuff. So we went into this little pharmacy over here by where my parents live because right. I needed like a compression sock ankle support compression thing. Yeah. And mom's like, oh, they have all these, you know, stuff there. And I'm like, okay. So we go in and then the pharmacist comes over to help us. And I'm like, fuck you. They're all that long. Yes. Okay. Again, can I have one in cotton? I don't have your size in cotton. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, and it's only in this pattern. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> nice, right? And I'm just like, oh, and I'm thinking, I'm in in her mind. I can see her. Fuck you. Fuck you, right? Fuck you. You get the polyester one that's plaid and gingham. Fuck you. You get what you get. And then I asked, oh, I'm like, hey, uh, do they have a do they have finger splints? And like, yeah, they do. And then. And then it only had one strap and I'm like, oh, it only has one strap. And I'm just the look on her face. I'm like, I'll yeah. still take it. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'll actually, I'll take two of the ones I'll never wear. And it was like, fuck you. Fuck and I'm you. Like, I'm going to leave this tiny little pharmacy and probably not come back. <laughs> Is that the one that's by the dentist office? <laughs> it's No, it's uh, across from, um, <laughs> no, it's a little mini mall. Oh, okay. I don't know that one. No. No, but it's closer um, to mom and dad. Anyways, okay. it was so funny because all I thought was, and then I said, thank you for your patience. I really appreciate your help today. And she DFC, she don't fucking care. Yeah, and you're like, you're welcome. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm never coming back. No, here. right? Because guess what? You're not welcome. You're actually, actually, you're I not was welcome. I really nice about the, it. But I it don't matter. Like, I don't want something up to my knee because I don't need that. It doesn't I matter. I don't want a pattern. That's all you've got. Doesn't matter. And I and I wasn't trying to be difficult, mm. but deep but down, def- but deep down, was, that's how it was. That's how she was taking it. <laughs> deep down, she was like doing what you. Fuck, fuck you, you. <laughs> right? Fuck you, <laughs> right? So it's not like an anger, like fuck you. No, it's like, it's like oh. fuck you. It's like I'm it's, exhausted. Fuck yeah, you. It's like exasperated. It's like, oh. like that, absolutely right. It's like I want to just like ugh, throw my hands up in the air with fuck you. 
that is so too funny. Bad. And I'm I, just like, oh my god. I think that's COVID burnout. I t- it it has to be. Has to be right. Yeah, so friends of the podcast, be. if you find yourself thinking and saying "fuck you," take a look. You're co- yeah. you're burning. You're burning. <laughs> you're burning. You're burning. You're burning. You're burnt. <laughs> Okay, but I got taught something new this week. Okay. Just by following my Instagram. There you go. Well, because you know how much I love Ross Matthews. Yes, you do. Okay, so I was watching his Instagram stories, and he taught me a new word. What was it? It's called dunch. It sounds like a bad word. It's dinner and lunch. I thought that was brunch. No, and it was on the menu where he was eating, and it said dunch, and it's like dinner and lunch. I don't like that word. I know, but I'm just like, huh. Interesting. It's a new word. It is a new word. I don't know if I love that word. I think it seems awkward, dunch. Brunch is breakfast and lunch, but this was dinner and lunch. And so lupper. Dunch. What's lupper? That's lunch and supper. Lunch and supper. Oh, well, maybe is it? Maybe it? Maybe it's been missing. Maybe it's been, it's been missing. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew it's been missing? I just thought that was really cool. And I'm like, look at you, Ross Matthews. Teaching you a new word. Yes. I and you're like, like Mrs. Word. <laughs> yeah, well. Even Mrs. Word can learn a new word. No, I'm not Mrs. Word. Mm, I think sometimes you think you might be. I like words. I know you do. Maybe I like words much. that I know and you don't. That Whatever. gives me the greatest joy. <laughs> Listen. Listen here. Procrastinate. Inconsistent. <laughs> incontinence. Um, oh poopy belly, innovate. Um, innovate. I know all of those words. I know all the words that you know. I know all the big words, right? I know my words. Uh, okay. Lady That's at work good. asked me today. She told me about a book she's reading. She's like, "Do you read?" I'm like, "Oh God, I've been dreading this question." Yes, because you don't. I don't. I said, "No, I don't." Oh. And then you always kind of get that funny, like, "Oh, right," like, "Oh, you don't read." I can read. <laughs> I believe there hasn't been a well, a book that is interesting enough to captivate my attention. Yes. That's when they make that book. <laughs> sign me up and I will read it. You read books that you just don't read. You like nonfiction. I like books that I'm learning things. I don't want to live in the make believe of, oh, I can't believe it's not butter books. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's always my dreaded question is when somebody says, do you read? And then I feel that it's awkward. And then you're never really looked at quite the same anymore. Well, and then you defend yourself consistently. So. Consistently. I'm defending myself now, hours later. To you. Somebody I feel comfortable with. Who knows I don't read. You don't read. I don't read. I'll read an autobiography. I just want to learn. I don't want to read. I don't want to read stuff and have to remember. I don't want to. I don't care about the Hogwarts. No, you do not. I don't care about them. I don't care about the third level you, of hell. You, you don't. Right? You don't. I feel I live in it most days. <laughs> right? That's true. Okay. But there is something you, I, I'm sure you already know about it, but let's talk about it. Okay. Let's get your thoughts. Okay. A royal announcement. Oh, I know. The new bebe has oh. been born. The new Mel- bebe. Melted my heart. Yes. Megan and Harry have had a bebe girl. Yeah. And they've named her Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Beautiful. And her nickname is Lily. It's beautiful. Baby, it's a, little, little baby Lily. Lily. Yes, I think that's perfect. <laughs> I think it's just, you know what? They just, they just went up a notch. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did. Oh. They did. Only just because of the baby girl's name. Yes. Yeah. Well, because it's the nickname of Queen Elizabeth. Of the Queen, right? Exactly. And I think with Prince Philip just passing away, it just was very timely. And probably a good PR move too, let's be honest. <laughs> right? So if it went if she went up in my books, she's gone up in lots of people's books. Yeah, probably the queen. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably the queen too. Exactly, right? Exactly. So I think uh, I think yay, a new little baby royal. I think that's a good thing. I do too. I do too. Mm-hmm. Right? Nothing wrong I love with it. that. Me Nothing too. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. So that's not a song. You can't don't start making up songs. Why? Because you can't, you're not that, you're not talented like that to just make up a song. Oh my God. Oh my God, you're not. I think you've hurt my feelings. I'm okay with that. Sometimes they need to be hurt. (laughs) 
right? It's, you're such a bitch. I think you can, I think you can sing along, but I don't think you can make up your own. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm sorry right. if I've hurt your feelings. Uh huh. Well, Here, here's the violin. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're going to probably argue about this as well. Okay. Why? What is your problem? With sparkly water. Oh my god. Okay. Really? You, you really send a text and I'm like, yes, it does make me classier. No, it you. doesn't. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't. Does. It doesn't. You know what it does? It makes you a hoe. No, it it makes you a hoe. Yes, no, it does. It, doesn't. it makes you used and abused. Yes, because let me lend me your ears, if you will. So my issue with seltzer, seltzer this, seltzer that, seltzer, 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 okay? Seltzer, back in the 70s, that was fancy, right? With like like your Perrier and your Pellegrino, there was two. Fancy, classy. Uh -huh. It's still fancy and classy. It's not anymore, because now I can buy them from the vending machine, right? Okay. I can buy your buble from the vending machine. <laughs> I can buy everything with bubbly water from the vending machine. Not classy. I can buy it at the dollar store. Not classy. At the Walmart. Not classy. We've already established that. Not classy. <laughs> okay. So what once was classy, not classy. But you seltzer drinkers uh -huh. are drinking it with your little baby finger up thinking <laughs> it's classy. And I'm here to tell you it's not. It's common like a cheap hoe. <gasps> Common like a cheap host, Samantha. Okay, well, then I won't tell you that I'm using the Blue Menu Blueberry Pomegranate Sparkling Water right now. Yeah, it's I'm common. It. It's common, <laughs> right? It's common. You buy that everywhere. Every street corner is selling that, just like other things that get sold on the street corner. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? So maybe in 1972, classy, not uh -huh. today. Not I'm not giving it to you. You're not. It's not classy. I get that it's a nice, light, refreshing drink. So if you go to a restaurant and they ask you for sparkling or regular water, yeah, what are you doing? I don't care. For me, I'm having regular water. Mm. I don't like that sparkling water. I don't like the bubbles. But sparkling water at a restaurant seems classy. Why? It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's classy. It's not classy. Especially with a little lemon. It can go in the water, too. <laughs> Only person who knows that it's sparkly is you. Nobody else knows that it's sparkly. It looks Nobody just like else. a water or a, or a 7-Up. <laughs> right? Oh, whatever, man. I'm just saying. that's that's That was my issue. I got mad at it because I keep seeing I keep seeing commercials about it. And then they bring it out in the booze, right? The, the boozy seltzers. The Coors Light. Coors Light has a seltzer now. I know everybody, right? It's a very odd thing, but all the beer. Remember, it was like back in the back in our high school days with the Twist Shandy, oh my God. right? And Canada Cooler. Oh Everything God. became oh a cooler. God. I remember Canada Cooler. Like, remember, they like like we're so old that we can remember when coolers didn't exist. Yes, and and we drank them when they did. <laughs> and, and the Canada Cooler came in a two liter pot bottle <laughs> that you passed around the car with your girlfriends. <laughs> Before the high school dance. Oh, my God. I totally remember that. Yes, right? Rockaberry Cooler yes. and Canada Cooler. Yes. Right? Rockaberry. Rock but Rockaberry had to be careful because oh. if you spilt it, it stained and your mom was going to know you'd been yes. drinking. Yes. Well, and then when you threw it up, it didn't look pretty. Didn't look good, right? At least, right? Nope. Uh, right? That was not the way to go. Uh. You know what I'm thinking we need to learn when we're up at the lake? Not, no, we need to learn nothing at the let's, lake. Let's learn to fish. No. Yeah, I we'll hate fishing. Let's take the canoe. No, fuck and, you. I'm not going and, in anything. Let's take the paddle you boat. I are the only two people in it. We'll take the paddle boat. No. Didn't no, we I pedal? Can't, I cannot pedal with my ankle. It's your knee that does the pedaling. No. Yes. I am not going in the paddle boat. Well, I I'm will not going in any flotation device with you at all. I will this pedal for you. Happening. I this will is, pedal. This is not happening. I will pedal. No. I'll do the pedaling. No. I'll ask Barry Sr. if he can take us out fishing one afternoon. No. Yeah. No. And then we can make a, we can kind of make a fish and then we can eat a fish. No. Yeah. We'll clean a fish. I don't touch fish. I don't fill it. Fish. They say it's very relaxing. And I already kind of know how to, right? From all my years with Big Tuna. Okay. So right. 
Big Tuna is a TV show that you watch. <laughs> you know. don't actually catch the tuna. Let's I know. make that perfectly clear for the but listeners. I, I She's know. never caught a tuna in her life. <laughs> but I could. I could <laughs> catch the tuna. Samantha, start. I could Don't catch start. the tuna, right? Oh I my could... God, we oh. are officially fulfilling Caroline's wish right? of a, a little bit more <laughs> argument, disagreement. right? I'm just saying, as if I could catch the tuna, I need help because tunas <sighs> are big, but I can catch them, I can core them, I can sell them. I know you how go, much he should you go, go for. You go fishing with Barry, be my guest, I am not doing that. Well, fine, when I catch the big lake trout... Or I catch, or I catch salmon. Yum! I could catch a salmon and make a salmon for supper. Congratulations! Right? Then you can't uh, be part of it. You are not going to fill up that fish. I think I could do it. I don't think you can. I don't know. I think I bet you. I think I you think I could. You touch scales and you're going to be like. Ugh. I don't know. I think I'm not that scared. I'll put on a mitt. A mitt? Or like a glove, right? You put on a fish glove. You put on a oh special glove, like the of glove. I can't with you right now. No, I'm just saying. I think it's relaxing. No, we're, I'm not going fishing. Mm. Okay, well, I'm you're not, gonna I, you're gonna miss I hate out fishing. I fished when I was younger. That was part of my growing up years. Well, and let's I relive it. Hate fishing. It's Come so on. boring. Oh, Samantha, please. Nope, nope, oh, and no. all right, fine. I don't want to talk anymore about it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you just took my fun and wrecked it. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, and yet I hurt your feelings over. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, because you can't write a song, which you can't. You don't even watch. You don't even watch shows to help you. You can't fish. Shut I up. at least watch shows that help me fish. I right? I used to I used to Big watch Red Tuna Fisher. Not gonna help you fish. I used to watch Red Fisher. Oh my god! I don't even know who you're talking about right Go now. Go to the Scuttlebutt Lodge. Oh, good god! Right on Saturday mornings, with Bob Azumi. Yeah, I watch those fishing shows. I don't care. Didn't bother me. You're so weird. I'm just saying. Okay, but speaking of people and things that we already thought happened. Okay. Apparently, Sinead O'Connor retired from music. I know what. I thought she was already retired. I thought when she ripped up the picture of the Pope. Yeah. <laughs> back in the '80s on SNL, I thought that kind of sealed her career. <laughs> I don't really remember a lot about Sinead O'Connor after that. <laughs> It's like pre-ripping the Pope and after ripping the ripping Pope, the Sinead, Pope. right? Yeah. Pre-ripping the Pope was good. Prior yeah. prior to ripping up the Pope, she had a, a, a good album. I th- I don't know what happened to her after that. I used to love her. Like, I, no, I didn't like her. Nothing compares to you. I love, remember Emperor's New Clothes. I love, put that on our 80s track. That's a fun song. You Emperor's probably don't. Emperor's New Clothes. Yeah, you'll have to Google it. You don't know it. I can tell. Oh, God. All right. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought she retired. I thought she became a priest or something. I think she is. Yeah. Or there's something like that in her yeah. world. Yeah. I think that things took a weird turn for her. I think they did. I think. But it's funny that she announced that she was retiring when perhaps we always thought that she We had. thought that she was forced retired. Forced retired. Like if she was a sports star, she had an injury and had to call it a career. <laughs> right so so maybe she's just because she was sort of forced out she's now officially saying okay i'm done i'm done i'm over you guys it's on it's on her terms okay i see okay 25 years later 25 years later. all right woo you go Sinead. <laughs> boom mic drop right i showed them that's what she's thinking right i showed those bitches <laughs> Exactly. Right? I went out on my terms, which not you didn't. You went out yeah. after you ripped up the picture on Saturday Night Live. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't okay. good. But we have to talk about okay. Facebook Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Nutella, bye-bye. Don't which care. Which is perfectly fine. Nobody cares. Nobody needs Nutella. Toast, don't care. No. Avocados hurt my heart a little bit. Everyone was like, ew, avocado, ew, avocado. Right? And then- Made my heart happy. Tina Greenwood said, uh, no, somebody said they were allergic to it. Josie oh, Eames. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Josie. And I'm like, really? Seriously? Like, are we kidding here? Are we like Lisa allergic? I know, right? That's what I feel we need, right? Like a Lisa allergic sign. 
Right? Because I don't want to offend you, somebody who's like Lisa really allergic. allergic. Yeah. Are you Lisa allergic? Right? Or are you like legit? Yeah. Right? Like <laughs> she's, she's legit. Yeah. And I, but then I replied back saying, I could be, I've just never tried it. Exactly. So I feel I'm still in the running to be legit too. Uh, yes. But you, Lisa, confused everyone oh, about you the know cinnamon. What? Come on. You implied sugar. They did not think sugar. They didn't think. Cinnamon with sugar and butter mixed together. Okay, on toast. here's the thing, friends of the podcast. What are you, a bunch of monsters? Who just eats who just eats cinnamon powder? You put the powder with the sugar. Come on. I I, I started explaining and I'm like, I can't. I can't. I can't you stopped explaining. I stopped explaining. I'm like, oh my goodness. I found usually I make my own pictures and usually I make my own words this yeah. week i found a fun little picture <laughs> and i didn't think that it would mislead everybody to the extent that it did uh, everybody everybody yeah. fell for it yes but the biggest chuckle i got this week was from tina greenwood <laughs> she picked honey because she has a phobia of being sticky that's too funny right <laughs> And I just, all I, all I wrote was, I need more detail. I feel there's a story behind I that. I feel like there's a huge story. I feel like there's a fun this. story behind being <laughs> sticky, right? Because I agree. Oh. I, I mean, I, I admit it makes sense, but, but I have no story to back it. A phobia of being sticky. Huh. It made me laugh. And I'm like, oh, I never God, ever that's... thought of that though, right? I know. Like, it's legit, but I need to know why. And like sticky as in clammy or sticky as in like, gluey sticky. yeah like, gluey because i that would be horrible that would be horrible i've just never thought about it that way yeah <laughs> right? did i until she said it but and i'm I, allergic i'm legit allergic to honey no you're not yes i am when i was five years old i had a peanut butter and honey sandwich and i threw it up honey allergy not <laughs> peanut butter because i can still eat it five years old i remember this is, this is your mushroom allergy too Mushroom allergy. My sister has it. Her daughter has it. It's a family allergy, Stop the mushrooms. It. I'm serious. My sister Linda is allergic to allergies. She goes in for surgery, just like I did with my heart attack when I was going in for surgery. Any allergies? Yeah. Penicillin, sulfa, and mushrooms. And then they look at you like, seriously? And I'm like, serious. What happens? <laughs> I throw up. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Gibson. And again with the Mrs. Gibson. And I feel I don't ever want to be called Mrs. Gibson. I hate being called Mrs. Gibson so much. Oh, that's so right? funny. Yes. In all things, my life, I don't want to be called Mrs. Gibson. <laughs> I like being a Mrs. Gibson, but yes. I don't need to be called Mrs. Gibson. No, you do not. Right? I think I'm going no. through an age thing. As I'm approaching my 52nd birthday, I think I'm starting to go through an age issue. And uh -oh. Mrs., putting Mrs. and my last name together in a sentence, this feels like it's dating me. You know what it is? It's your name. Why? Because Lisa Gibson. It's very adulty. Yeah. And you know what's funny? So where I work, right? I only know like one Lisa, right? Which is me. But... I grew up with a Lisa, but there wasn't a whole lot of Lisas, right? It wasn't like the top 10 name on the list. Mm -hmm. However, where I work, we are a foundation of 13 women and there's four Lisas. Oh, dear. Isn't that so funny? So, you know, we're all within five years of age of each other, <laughs> right? And, and we all say the same thing. So weird. I didn't really know really any Lisas. <laughs> Until I started working here and now there's like, right, it's like there's the gift shop Lisa, there's a different <laughs> Lisa, the way it's all, we're all like different, we all have different forms of our name being used. Oh it's God. so funny and I'm like, that's the weirdest. And then you know what I think? It's never a name that makes a comeback. No. Like I just saw an article and these people had named their little girl Hazel and I'm like, okay, that was a horrible name as an old person. But when I thought, oh, is that ever a beautiful little name, Hazel? Yeah, now it's nice. Now it's nice, but Lisa's never ever made the comeback. No, Samantha no. has though. Well, it's never gone away, I guess. I know, because I'm awesome. It's not your name. It's a lot of people's names. I know, but it's my name. I know, but I'm not talking about you. Uh-huh. I'm talking but you about know, me. Okay, but the point I'm making about your name is that Lisa's very adulty sounding. It is adult. And my name, even though it's Samantha, people call me Sam. 
Yes. And Sam just makes me feel young. Yeah. No, Lisa just makes me feel old. <laughs> It, and I think that's my issue is I think that I'm feeling old as I'm getting close, to, close to your age. Yeah, that's, that's what awesome. I find, you know, so. My physiotherapist called me Sam today and I'm like, oh, we're like, oh, kindred. We're bonding. we're bonding here. Bonding now because she's because <laughs> she's because she's shortened down the name. That's kind of funny. And it made me feel young. Yeah, I don't feel young. I don't feel young. Mrs. Gibson does not make Mrs. Gibson makes me feel like I should be a teacher. <laughs> right. That's a school teacher's name. It is a school teacher's right. Name. Oh, the places I could have gone. <laughs> right. Oh, Very oh school God. teacher. Like, do you ever hear people's names and think, oh, you know what? That's going to be a successful person. Uh-huh. Right. And you're then you hear a teacher and then you hear other names and you're like, hmm. Right, they're gonna go to school long enough to have been a teacher, but end up working in retail. (laughs) There you go. Right, (laughs) right. Okay, so here we are at the part of the uh, at the part of the podcast where we ask you guys to download or subscribe to our podcast because we need to know if you're listening. So all you have to do is. Type in, I shake my head with Lisa and Sam, go to whatever podcast app that you use, and you're going to find us, download, subscribe, let us know. Then, you know, all the, then we find out who's listening and how many people are listening and it's awesome. So we know, kind of know, hey, are we, we hitting it with you guys? Are we missing something with you guys? You know, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. But our, our home is ismhead.podbean.com we are pod podbean people we are so podbean people if you're in podbean you can go to the little mi- the little um bag over my head and if you hit that you can um pay two dollars a month and that's patreon for us so if you want to support us in any way if you want to help us you know because we it does cost a little bit of money to run the run the podcast. You could help out by doing that. We also have a Patreon as well. So you can go to Patreon and just type in I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. And we are there too. We're also on all the social medias. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We've been doing more stories on both. Sam's so I, proud of her stories. Yes. And, um, and I believe Lisa's been playing with TikTok. Oh, I did. I started. Well, okay. So, because I don't completely understand the TikTok people. What I want is I want somebody to explain the TikTok. So I posted something. What? So I posted something on TikTok. It's old, but it's funny. Yeah. But it's old because yeah. I don't know what to do. So find us on TikTok. We're just uh, go to go to TikTok and just search I underscore shake my head. And follow us, because right now nobody follows us, just me. Oh, because nobody knows. Nobody knows, yet. right? Because we're not all that in a bag of chips in the TikTok world. No, we are not. Coming soon to okay. TikTok near you. Coming soon to you. Yes. Okay. And also, we are at Threadless still. We still have merch. So if you want to go to ishakemyhead.threadless.com, check it out. We have mugs. We have bags. Shower curtain still, I'm pretty sure. Shower curtain still. Yeah. Still a little creepy. I know. We got it all. So we got it all. So if you guys want a little piece of I Shake My Head merch, that's where you go. And we are part of the Podfix Network. And it's great. We ha- It's a good family. And uh, I recommend Mouse and Weems and the Varmints podcast. So if yeah. you guys want to listen to something else, Mouse and Weems are super funny. And the Varmints, you learn stuff about animals. Kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. Fun. Samantha, we got big, big news here. Okay. We got a big shout out coming up. Oh, cool. A shout out to, I'm probably not going to say this right because I don't know how to say it. I'm going to say Mary Tyus? Maritis? Maritis? Maritis, maybe? Maritis. It's a country in East Africa. Like oh, cool. the the East Africa. Okay. <laughs> Dear this country in East Africa, Maritis. Uh, I shake my head with Lisa and Sam want to thank you. Because consistently now, for the last two months, week after week, you have been keeping us on the Maritis East African iTunes charts. Anywhere from number five to number, well, sometimes we slip down to 135. 
So number 35 to 31, 35? Nope, we went time we're number five. Shut up. Yes, on on the Meritus East African iTunes chart under Aww. comedy. So thank you to whoever's living there. I'm sensing you're going to hear us because you are listening to the podcast. That is so cool. I don't know how many people. I don't know how big your country is. But thank you from Lisa and Sam. Yeah, whoever's right. whoever's listening to us, we appreciate you. We appreciate it. And how about Dear the World? Come on. <laughs> Follow the lead. Follow the lead. Follow yes. the lead. Why are we not on your charts? <laughs> right? Let's like find Waldo. Where is Lisa and Sam now? <laughs> right? Because you know what? <laughs> Dear the rest of the world, you too could get that shout out. Oh, there you go. You too could incentive. get that shout out, right? Yeah. Just saying. I'm just saying. So thank you, Meritus, or I however, think... or how, or however I butchered your name. Yes, yes. I was just gonna say that. But I bet you it's a lovely country in East Africa. Yes, I'm sure it is. Yes. So. Okay. So I need to know because I knew that something was happening over the weekend. How did the sleepover kids do over the weekend? Oh yeah. So the HHG had her sleepover kids. Yes. I think it went well. I think okay. So it was funny because. She, she's always busy with them, right? Cause they're just, they're busy kids, right? Two girls and a boy. Mm-hmm. And, and she busy, 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 busy. Cause with the kids. So what sat Friday night? So she had them on Friday, Friday night around 11 o'clock. She sends me a text. They have to be at diving for 10. Oh God. I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> so then I text her back. How are you ever going to do that? You're never going to be any place. At 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, she's like, I know, I don't know what to do. So that was the first thing. So then it was funny because then Saturday morning, I was out doing my running around, right, with Mike. And I texted her at nine o'clock in the morning because we were out doing stuff. And I said, if you were a Gibson, you and the sleepover kids would be waiting in the parking lot for the diving at 10. Because that's what Gibsons do, right? We show up uncomfortably early. And we just wait. It's okay that they're not open yet. It's okay. Right. And so instead she said she got them there five minutes after 10, which really that's, that's pretty good. That's good for her. She was a few minutes late. They had, it must have been a two hour diving course. She was a few, she's five minutes late picking them up because she did an Instacart in between. Oh God. And I'm like, oh, you know what though? But I think it's okay to be late picking them up. Right. And like, I think that's more acceptable. She's like, not when it's just them with the coach waiting outside. Oh. I'm like, oh, probably not, right? I forgot, right? It's COVID and they're young, right? So of course somebody's waiting with them. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, but I think, I think, I think the sleepover went well and, uh, great to have the adventures of the sleepover kids back around. Yes. Right? Cause I know that those kids like to do that and she, she brings her a lot of joy. You know what else she did? Because so all the birds are in the nest right now, right? All the kids are home. Oh, again? Yeah, because Alexa can work from home. Doesn't matter what home, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So she's working from mom's home, which is okay. nice. So all the kids are home, which means Nora, the uh, the granddaughter, right? Uh-huh. She's at home too with checkers. Okay. It was really really hot weather. Oh. She went and bought them up. She went and bought them a doggy paddle pool. Oh. So then she sent me a snap, and there were the dogs and the pool in their pool, cooling <laughs> off, right? I'm like, aren't you a good grandma? Right? Or she calls herself Mima, whatever the hell that is. It's a form of grandma. I don't get. I don't understand it because I don't know. Is that like a like a Nona or what is that? Maybe I don't know. I hear it in the odd snap. She'll be like, "Come to Mima." I'm like, and I'm like, "Why are you a Mima? What is a Mima?" But she's never really answered what a Mima is. I don't know what a Mima is. Uh, I feel like it's either Mama or Grandma. Can't you just be Grandma? I don't know. I don't know. It's like when my mom decided that she was going to be Nana, but my father was going to be Papa because that sounded younger. And I'm like, you are screwing him for life because that is not sounding younger. Papa doesn't sound young. Papa sounds old. (laughs) Don't you think? I think Papa sounds older. Uh, It does kind of. Nana and Papa. I'm like, "Mm." and he and he fell for it. So he's now he's Papa. Oh, well. Yeah. So I don't know. But yeah, so I think, well, I think all is well with the HHG. Okay, good. It's good to hear. So here's something interesting, Samantha. You know our apartment. Yeah. So so we got our new decks, right? And it's like a it's it's a new it's like a new wood, right? Like a light colored, not light colored wood, but like a normal like a wood wood. Yes. Whatever that is. 
right? But a wood. So now, which which is fine, right? Because it matched because the shingling is kind of like 70s brown, right? Mm-hmm. Now what they've done, because they're renovating a little bit. So now they've taken the 70s brown shingles down. And now they've put up, I like to refer to it as 22nd Street Avenue Gray. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what places I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Apparently those shingles oh my God. must have been on sale. I see. Right? Or they're just trying to make us look more like the projects. I don't know. So now our siding is gray uh-huh. and our decks are wood and they don't match. No. There's nothing about it that matches. No. And they didn't paint the top of the brown trim. <laughs> I'm like, we are looking trashier than usual. Because now we don't match. And you so know you- what? That beautiful park across the road only goes so far. <laughs> right? It only takes you so far. That's true. Right? So now Very we live in now we're living in mismatched clothing. That's what Pretty I feel. Much. I feel like we're, I'm feeling like, 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 like my pants don't match my shirt anymore. I think you're going to have to go to the board. I don't know. What do you, you do? Complain. Ask them to paint your. Well, they got to do the whole, they got to do the whole, they are not going to do the whole complex because I'm not happy. How do you know? I know. I know. How do you know? I can tell. <laughs> I don't got that pull here. <laughs> I might have been able to get rid of the meth heads. Yes. But I'm not going to be able to get painting done. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. You know what we did? This is what's so funny. So we rent, right? Because, right, we're too cheap to buy a house. Yes. We rent. When you rent, one of the beauties of renting is that it's not your problem. It is not. Something happens, you phone somebody. Uh-huh. Unless you're a Gibson and you're renting. Oh, dear. Something happens and we buy it and we replace it. So we just replace our bathroom fan. Really? Uh huh. And he replaced it. Uh huh. Did he hurt himself? He learned it on the YouTube. Oh dear God. Yeah, but it's nice and it's super quiet. But I'm like, why are we? Why am I buying a bathroom fan <laughs> when we're living? When we're renting, they buy the bathroom fan because he doesn't want anybody in his place. Because he doesn't. He doesn't want the hassle, right? He's like, I don't want it to take them five days to fix. Exactly. Okay. As opposed to the $150 we just spent. <gasps> Shut. Well, because we're not going to get a cheap half-ass fan. Oh. We're going to get a fancy fan, right? I would say keep that bill and submit it. <laughs> I bet you we don't. I bet you we don't. Oh, my goodness. So if it's not my mismatched apartment looking trashier, it's, it's, your, uh, it's your husband doing labor he doesn't need to. Doing home home renovations in a home we don't own. <laughs> Right, remember when he changed all the lighting? Yes. Remember, oh remember, we God. bought all our own lights. I'm like, why are we doing this? Right? Well, it's meant to have the globe lighting. <laughs> yes. Right? Exactly. We live in a trashy place. It's meant yeah. to have globe lighting. It's meant to have that. Leave we're not meant. To, we're only meant to step it up if we move out of here. True. No, no that's not it, though. Oh, that's dear. not it. I know. Okay, well, I need to know. How's that egg yogurt diet thing doing for you? Okay. Are you asking because you care or are you asking because you're trying to make fun of me? I'm. It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. I hear a little <laughs> bit of both. That's why I brought it up. I hear a little bit of both, Samantha. I think you're picking uh, fun. I, uh, hi. Right? Yes. That's something I'm taking very seriously. Oh, please. Listen, I am still doing really, really good. I'd say out of five days... Four days for sure. I'm sticking to it. Fantastic. So I'm not bored of it. You're not I'm bored not... of eggs and yogurt. Nope. Mm-mm. Huh. I quite it's... enjoy. I know what it is. What is it? It's the salt on the yogurt or on the yogurt on the egg. And a little bit of pepper. Because <laughs> I'm classy that way. Right? Oh my God. It's, it's that one. You could put salt on it. It's that one packet of salt keeps me coming back every day for those eggs. But I think I'm making eggs really popular because some days they're out of eggs. Wow. I'm like, all the eggs are gone? Who else is buying my eggs? I thought these eggs were just made for me. Other people are eating my eggs. Apparently. 
I know. Cause probably cause they're listening to the podcast, the world is, and they're hearing yes. you talk about how great this diet is. But, but my, my, the bigger question. Hey. How's the muffin top? Okay. You know what? Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Just Don't be a asking. bitch. No, no, You've that's been doing this for a while now. So. <laughs> Samantha, listen, listen, listen. <sighs> Here's the problem with the muffin top. Okay. I'm going to maybe start to accept it because where does it go? I don't know. Where does it go when I lose it? Like where, like, so I've been like, you know, looking at like some, like, like, do you, I look at doing like some crunches? Do I look at like doing some squats? Like different, like I've been like looking at my options, right? To try and help with the muffin top. Cause I'm serious about it. Right. Uh-huh. And then I got me thinking the other day, well, okay. So I put the work in and say, I find the perfect exercise. That's not too exercisey. Cause uh-huh. I don't, I don't want a real exercisey exercise. Right. Uh-huh. Like I don't want to sweat a whole lot, but then it got me thinking if I do all of that and I stick to my diet and I lose my muffin top, where is it going? Is it, it going just, to my it leaves, apron? It leaves your body. But to where? Like, is it going to my apron? Because you know what? The only reason my apron's not an issue is because it seems to camouflage better. <laughs> right? I think we can hide an apron better in a black pant. <laughs> right? Like, if I was wearing a white pant, it probably would be horrific. Oh, probably. But I'm just saying, right? I think, I think. I don't know. I, so that's, I'm, mm, I'm kind of torn with my muffin top. Cause I'm like, where the hell does it go? Where does that muffin top go? That's a very good question, which leads us into the next segment. Guess who's got questions. Lisa's got questions. It's Lisa's question corner. Samantha, I got some questions for ya. All right, Lisa. I'm okay. ready. Okay. So I was thinking, I was watching the birds the other day. And I got thinking about them. What happens if a bird gets tired? What happens? Do the bird's feet ever get sore? No, They're standing on their feet all day. But they got the wings. They can fly. But they don't. Lots of times they just stand on their feet. Well, they are kind of bony. So how would that not hurt? Maybe they're meant to stand. I don't know. Like, Do you think they got magic feet that just don't hurt? Like when we stand all day, our feet hurt. Our feet do hurt. Yeah. So why wouldn't Maybe a bird? Well, it depends. Are they like a plump a bird? Are they proportioned? I don't know. Right? You think that makes a difference? I it, well. It where is that bird? Where is the bird carrying their weight? <laughs> makes a difference for human beings <laughs> well so maybe then maybe i don't know just curious right as if they yeah. like like do they get tired and their feet get sore it's then okay possible. my next question how can a squirrel remember where he put the nut but sometimes we can't even remember where we put something that's all he's focused on but he can drop it off someplace he can drop it off in the neighbor's yard and he can go back and get that nut because he knows he's 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 got a map in his head but I can go to the kitchen and not remember what I went in there for. I know. But yet the squirrel can find a nut in the neighbor's yard. Exactly. That's so weird. So I just wonder how they can remember so much. Maybe it's like sonar. Maybe he knows. It's like the nut leaves a heat, a, a heat imprint or a sonar. Or like, or like a, a vib- smell or something. A vibration. Some sort of a scent. This is a really good question for Paul. <laughs> I'm just curious, right? Exactly, right? Paul, dear Paul, Paul from the Varmints. <laughs> Paul from the Varmints, help us out. Help us out there with our question about the squirrels. Okay, and then I was eating some watermelon over the weekend. It had the seeds. Uh-huh. And you know me, right? I'm too lazy. I'm not spitting out the seeds for nothing, uh-huh. right? Then it got me thinking, why don't we poop out watermelon seeds? How do you know that you don't? Well, I feel pretty, I don't know for sure because I'm not checking, but <laughs> unlike the corn, I don't think we do. How do you know? I just don't think we are pooping out watermelon seeds. I think you might be. Well, then you're going to grow. Maybe that's what your muffin top is. It's a watermelon. Maybe it's a watermelon. Maybe. So it's your watermelon baby belly. All this time, I just thought it was my baby. <laughs> I just thought it was my baby. My 20 year old baby. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we poop out watermelon seeds. I think you. I think you do, and I don't need to know if you check your poop. So just, I don't check my poop. I don't. Let's check go poop. there. I don't let's check my poop. There. For okay. the record, I don't check my poop. <laughs> okay. Right. Just saying. 
Did you want to talk about poop? Nope. Okay. Nope. No. Because that sounded like you did. Nope. All right. Samantha. I really don't. Those were my questions for you. Okay. Those were awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But apparently our friend Jan got inducted to the Juno Hall of Fame. Did you not watch it? No, I didn't watch it. Really? Yeah. You Bye. didn't watch it? Your favorite person, Anne Murray. I watched it. Uh-huh. Because I'm a fan. I know. And yes, she did. And it was beautiful. That's beautiful. It was beautiful. Anne Murray looked as beautiful as ever. Of course she did. You know that without Anne Murray, there'd be oh, no don't Shania. There'd be no <laughs> Celine. There'd be no 5440. There'd be no Tragically Hip. There'd be no Michael Buble. Oh, stop it. There'd be no, there'd be no Canadian music. There'd be yes, no Junos. That's true. Without Anne Murray. That is so true. And yes, she inducted Jan. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I tweeted Jan a personal message congratulating her and she hearted us back. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, no, but not really you. Hearted me back, I guess I should say. <laughs> yes. It's always you, Lisa. It's always me. But yes, yeah, so it was beautiful and she deserves to be in there. Good. Congratulations. Yes. I'm Jan? surprised you didn't watch the Junos, Miss I Music. I didn't. No, no, huh. I didn't. I wasn't interested in it. Okay. I don't like it. Nothing was live, so. Well, well, they can't. It's pandemic, Samantha. I know. That's why I'm not interested. Okay. All right. Whatever. That's how I feel about it. Each is their own. Okay. Okay. But I'm more interested in this. Okay. Krispy Kremes. Again, new flavors. I oh, know, I just right? feel like they're just, that's just mean. We don't have anything like that here, so I, I just don't. feel like it's mean. But it's a lemon glazed donut and a pink lemon glazed donut. I think it sounds del- so refreshing and delightful. Right? Like, can we not have a summer? I don't, we don't need it to be filled. <laughs> that's the difference. So that's what Canada does. Canada takes a donut and we fill it to death. Yes. We don't need to fill it to death. We just want a little glaze. Well, and this would be glaze. Like, it would be just, it's their beautifully light just nice and light right? yes because dear the world it's a summer donut for god's sakes it's, i don't oh need it god. heavy right Krispy cream has made a summer donut right now donuts there's a summer donut oh my god and canada does not we do not have a summer donut because the chocolate dip not a summer donut no even the sprinkle not a summer donut Boston cream, not a summer donut. Not a summer donut. Dear Canada, do you know we don't have summer donuts here? And why don't we? Why is there no summer donuts? We don't have summer donuts. Why can't we have a summer donut? Why can't we have a lemonade donut? Okay, I don't know if there's a Krispy Kreme in Canada, but if there is one, people, you're lucky. I don't think there is. I don't know. There isn't anything near us. No. But I feel that they would give Timmy's a run for their money. I think they'd kick Timmy's ass because they got summer so. donuts. They got summer donuts. Oh, and then they would have summer Timbits too. Right? Oh. But it wouldn't be a Timbit. It would be a Krispy Kreme donut hole. That's fine. It can be whatever. It can just be a bit. Just call it a hole. It doesn't matter. Huh. It doesn't matter, right? What, where, what is missing? The, the big the big takeaway, Samantha, has to be the summer donut. Why we do we not have summer donuts? I think that's a bigger takeaway. You're oh, my God. Maybe we need to open up a summer donut food truck. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe the Boo Baby Bakery needs to have summer donuts. Oh, my God. And on Saturday mornings, we can make them ourselves. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can make our own donuts, mini donuts. You're doing this all by yourself. <laughs> That's fine. I can be the do- I will be the donut maker at the Boom Baby Bakery. Oh my god. Yes. We can have donuts at this Boom Baby Bakery and they'll be summer flavored. From 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. They're just only for 2 hours Saturday mornings cuz they're going to go fast. They're quick. Right? We got other meals to make, right? We can't be just doing donuts all day. We got other meals to be making. Right? There oh we go. God. I think summer donuts uh, Kate it's in there. Summer donuts being served at the Boom Baby. Mini. Summer mini donuts. Oh, there's your twist. That's my twist. Because <laughs> that's how we do it at the Boom Baby Bakery. <laughs> with a twist. Right? Uh, yes. But speaking of twists, apparently you're watching Hell's Kitchen. I am watching Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> what the hell for? <laughs> because there's no shows on anymore. <laughs> They're all done, right? 
And I watched your little one about the little tiny game. They make the little tiny sign. Uh, I haven't even watched it. Oh, I got two minutes into it. I'm like, was it next. Horrible? Yeah, it yeah. was really horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. It was okay. really, really horrible. Um, you know what? I like, I like Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Um, I do too. And I don't know. With Hell's Kitchen, he gets too. I think he's a little more calm now. But I, I prefer. So what just started this week, I think, is is there's a new Master Chef. I prefer Master Chef. Yes. Master so it's Chef. Gordon. I think it's Gordon Ramsay's Master Chef version. Mm-hmm. I prefer Master Chef to ha- to Hell's okay. Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know. For sure, he's. You still in all your time off and all your cooking shows that you watched, didn't get into Bobby Flay. No. Still no. I'm not. A, you're you're that fan. I am that fan. You know, I actually, I actually buy in more to guys' grocery games, actually. Which doesn't make sense because then we should be the same fan. <laughs> yes, we should be the same fan. It's the same show for the most no, part. No, it's not. It is. It no, really like, is. You know what? I just love Guy Fieri a little bit more. Fieri. Fieri. Whatever. Fieri. Even though Sorry. there's no T in his name. Fieri. Yeah. I, I enjoy him more. And do you like his diners, drive-ins, and dives? Of course, all the time. All the time, because it's on all the time. All the time. Yes, it certainly is. I enjoy that, too. Huh. Okay, so, Lisa. Samantha. We got into a bit of a negotiation about food. Yeah. For the lake. I think I won. <laughs> you, I gave in. I'm I not, feel... Okay, mm-hmm. but you know what won me over? You know what won me over? Tell me. You, you told me they got a new hot plate. <laughs> I know, right? They did. They bought a new hot plate. How exciting is that? It means that... it will not take 45 minutes for the pot of water to boil. Exactly. Right? That is what won me over. You can have Katie every night. I because there's a sure. new hot, because now yes. they have a hot plate that's part of today's world. Yes, today's world. Right. Yes. Right. Wilma Flintstone got rid of the old one <laughs> and bought a new one. Right. Right? That's exactly uh, what's happened. We're, we're there for a few days. You have Katie every day. I don't every care. day. I'm going to have Katie every day for lunch. Katie and hot dogs. We don't need anything else. No. I think that's the perfect lunch. Not for right? lunch. Yeah, for lunch. That's way too much work for lunch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have gotten... Have you gotten this lazy? <laughs> have you gotten this lazy? Because you've been oh at, like, God. Shea Sperling We've and you haven't had to do anything? <laughs> We, I agree to Katie, and now we can't decide when we're going to eat it. It's for lunch. We are not going to survive. It is for days. lunch. No, because you know what? We have to learn how to do. We have to learn. Uh, people need to learn how to be people again. And this is what I. This is my whole point. We oh don't know how God. to be people. We don't know how to be people anymore. Right. Oh my God. Right. Deep down, we probably don't like each other anymore. Well, deep, maybe not. It's probably oh just a God. habit, right? It's just an old habit. Uh oh. It could be that. Lisa. Right. Samantha. I'm no, still Kate. going to the lake though. So just, you know. I know, right? No matter what, you're still coming <laughs> along, are you? <laughs> Whether I speak to you or not, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I'm we'll still going. Michelle. We'll bring Michelle. Well, you know what? I keep telling her, you know what? We're going to have to put it on our Snapchat and invite her. I think if you put it on Snap, then it, it, it makes it more like an official an official invitation. Oh, and then she'll feel she, like she has to come. There. Well, I think she'll feel like she'll like she has to say yes, and then has to work on a reason why she can't. <laughs> right. So we need to give her a few weeks' notice so she can work okay. on that reason why she doesn't why she can't make it. Okay. Right. Because you know the H H E. Right. She's going to say yes, <laughs> and then she's going to work on how to get out say of it. No. How to get out of it and how to scoot on <sighs> out. Right. Okay. That's that's what she do. That's what she do. Uh, okay, do you remember as a kid that can opener from the 80s that when you put it in the top of the can and you pulled it straight up, it made that little triangle? Yes. On do the you can? Still use that? No, where is that? Gone, because it's, it's like, poof, gone, because it's old and defunct. Because you know what it was used for? This made me think, because sometimes Mike just buys vanilla ice cream, right? And he's like, you're never having ice cream. Well, you know what? I don't see any chocolate sauce. So I'm never eating vanilla ice cream without chocolate sauce. I'll have you know that for sure. This is true. Right? Ever, 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 ever. And there's no pie. So there's not any chance of me eating that ice cream. But then it got me remembering back to when we were kids. And you remember you could buy the can of Hershey's syrup? Yes. 
chocolate syrup and you always yes. mom's always used that can opener to make mm-hmm. that triangle and then you poured it on right and you left it in the can in the can Which so you it's have, no because it, it'll kill you right it'll give you that's botulism bad. or something that's right bad. or hoof and mouth or something like that right <laughs> tmj or something or something. Gives, you, gives you used to give you something yeah and it did it stayed in the can and you oh just had God. that little opening and you just poured it Huh. And that's what I was thinking about the other day. About I that. think didn't people still, people use that to, um, didn't beer used to come and you had to open beer that way? Yeah, but you did, took the lid off. Hmm, I'm thinking of something else. I remember maybe, we I'm used to. Of, I'm thinking of an oil can maybe. I don't yeah, know. maybe. I remember we used to have like a Christmas big, big, uh, big jars of, or big cans of uh, tomato juice. Oh yeah, yeah. And they'd use they'd use that to open that tomato juice up. Yes. Right. Again, left the tomato juice in the can. Left the tomato juice in the can. <laughs> exactly right. Nobody cared. Uh, nope. Nobody, nobody cared. cared. And you oh lived through it. You lived through it. Samantha, you know what I don't get? You know how I have my at home glasses and then I have my like at work glasses, right? Uh-huh. And 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 I don't ever wear my glasses home when I've been at work, right? I take them off. I put them in their case. I'm a faithful. Put my glasses in the case per in the case person right i always put them in the case i don't go around touching the outside of my glasses but every day i gotta clean them well, that it's, ever... just, it's like outside stuff though lisa like... and that stuff just gets on my glasses yes that's dirty and gross yes it is that's I don't, why I, we're wearing masks and using hand sanitizer i don't get glasses <laughs> i think i don't get glasses right you should be thankful the glasses are keeping that stuff off your face I guess, but I just think it's weird that they can get so dirty when you haven't even got them dirty. Well, because you're not touching them? I don't touch them. I mean, I touch them to adjust them, but I'm not touching the lenses. Mm -hmm. And the lenses get dirty every day. All the times. All the time. All the times. All the time. I'm always cleaning them every morning. (laughs) And you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't get glasses. Why are you surprised by that? I don't remember glasses being so high maintenance. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I think with the pandemic now, I think because uh, stuff has no place to go anymore. Uh-huh. It just only goes to your glasses, right? Because your face is covered. Okay. That's uh, so I have a different take on it than you. Apparently. Right. <laughs> my take's a little bit different than your take. The dirt and grime's got no place to go but my glasses now. Whereas before it had my whole face to go to. It had your whole face, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying to you, right? Okay. Do you think people are influenced by the first thing you say or the last thing? Well, they say first impressions are very impactful. Uh-huh. But it's not maybe what you say, but it's how you make them feel by what you're saying. I don't. Now you've confused me. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, huh? Okay, what? Okay, what? Okay, what? I think I think it, people are influenced by the first thing you say. Okay, so if you're going to buy something, if I say to you, do you want $11 or $6? Are you more apt to get the $11 if I say it that way? Or if I say, do you want 6 or 11 mm, I would probably say 6 You think that, okay, no, you're missing. Regardless of how you say that to me, I'm always going to pick 6 You're picking 6 not 11 Yeah. Because I've already, I've walked up and I've already decided how much I'm going to spend. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I was just curious about that. Okay. I know it makes no sense, but it was just something I was curious about. Okay. Are people influenced by the first thing or the last thing? It's hard and you're say. saying I'm not influenced by anything. No, because I already know how much I want to spend. Okay. Fair enough, Samantha. <laughs> Thanks for wrecking my experiment. <sighs> You're welcome. I got a better, I got something better for us to talk about. Okay, tell me. Okay, so apparently Jeff Bezos has got nothing better to do but go to space. What do you mean go to space? He's going to space. He stepped down from being the CEO of Amazon Web Services and he's announced he's going to space July 20th. Samantha, here's my thing, right? Is like, do we care enough about space that we want to quit our jobs and go to space? Well, he's got a lot of money, Lisa. He don't care. I know he's a bajillionaire. He's a bajillionaire. Right? He's a bajillion. If I had a million dollars, I'd does. go to space. It's he, not even in the a, song. 
He's like a kachubajinier. I know he's he's he, he's he's uh, an heir that hasn't even been hasn't even been invented yet. That word probably. Yeah. So I and he's taking his brother and he's taking a third person, but apparently he's holding an auction for that seat. How much? I'd like to go. It's the last bid was two point eight million dollars. Oh, I can't afford that. Nobody can. No, people can. Oprah could go. Oprah, Oprah could, could go. go. Oprah could go. There's people that could go. But why would you want to go to space? I don't know. Here's the thing, right? Is somebody's that, uh, rocket that wasn't made by NASA. It, well, there's that, right? And that's not... <laughs> and that's not cool. Right? Right? But apparently they've been throwing up test rockets and... Like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go to, to, I don't want to go on my next trip in a plane not made by airplane makers. <laughs> That's true. Right? And, and do I, like, and you, it's a very small space to go into space. Well, apparently it can hold six people or something like that, but he's only taking three, him, his brother, and this person, whoever decide, whoever wins the auction. Yeah. And I just feel, is this the best use of your money? I don't know, but then it's not our money, so that's not our that's not our call. Because maybe that to him is like is that like for us saying, do you need to spend eleven dollars on the lottery? True. Right, like it might be like like apples to oranges type of thing that way. True. But oh my god, I hate when you explain shit like right? that. Right, I'm just saying, right? Because to them, <laughs> if you're if you're if you're a bazillionaire, oh, it two, is two point eight billion. That's like that's like lunch for us. Yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, right? he obviously spent a ton of money on this rocket. Yeah, that's a and drop testing in testing it and throwing it up in the air. That's a drop in a bucket. And, yes, like drop in a bucket, Samantha. But my bigger question is, why do we care so much about space? Do I care that there's water on Mars? Yes, you do. Why do I care? I don't think I do care. I think I DFC. You don't want to live in space? I don't ever need to live in space. I'm perfectly fine living on Earth. Why can't we just be happy with what we have? I have some reasons why you don't want to live in space. Okay, tell me. I'm on, I because I think I'm going to agree with all of them. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> Lisa, it's things you want to know. All right, Lisa. It's things you want to know about space before you hitch a ride. Okay. <laughs> I'm not hitching, but I want to know them. You don't want to go because space is completely silent. Ooh. Or maybe you do. And it's all about you. Oh, my God. Yes. And you're the entertainment. Oh, my God. You imagine how much fun space would be with me in it? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Let me figure out how to f- raise $2.8 million. I'll get you there. Get me there. And then be like, leave her. <laughs> leave her. She's, and I'd be fine because I'd be having so much fun just by myself, me and space. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, but the, you were worried about water on Mars. Yeah. Venus is the hottest planet, and it's 450 degrees Celsius. Wow, so when we complain that it's 30. <laughs> well, you, you, okay, so here's my question. You can't live on Venus, can you? No, you no. would burn yeah. up. Right? So why do, are we trying, do they try to go to Venus? I don't know. I don't know. Seems They're trying weird. to go to Mars, so Seems who knows? weird. Apparently, one day on Venus is longer than one year. Some days, that's how my Saturdays feel. I know. And I'm like, oh my god. One they day on what, re- right? what retail? Feels. God, hey, maybe maybe space was maybe retail was modeled after space. I think so. Right. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, apparently, a full NASA spacesuit costs twelve million dollars. Again, that's an expensive hobby. It's a really very, expensive hobby. And then my question is, what kind of suit are they wearing to go in that rocket ship that is not made by NASA and it is not a NASA suit? Right. And is that I don't I only want to be in a NASA suit. Thank you. <laughs> and the person is only paying two point eight million dollars to go on the flight in the rocket. Yeah. Are you giving that person a twelve million dollar suit? Yeah, probably not. Right. You're probably getting like a, like a five hundred thousand dollar suit, which is not going <laughs> to suffice. Right. No, I got issues with space. Just throwing it out there. I got issues with space. OK, so apparently one million Earths can fit inside the sun. Like one million Earths? One million Earths. The sun, she big. She big. She big. She big. She big. She big. Huh. 
So when people sing, I got the whole world in my hand, they don't. They don't. They don't. That's a lie. The sun does. The sun has the, the whole The sun world. has the whole wide world. <laughs> so what? The people need to do your research before you write that song, right? <laughs> Right. So instead of saying, I got the whole wide world. No, the sun has the whole world in her hand. Yeah. Sun has it. Not we don't have it. I just love that we made the sun a her. The sun. I think the sun is definitely female because she hot. She hot. Because she hot. And that's H-A-W-T hot. That's what she is. She hot. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Sun's hot. Oh, my God. That's so right? funny. Because we love the sun so much. We do. We appreciate yeah. her. We do appreciate her. And Mother Earth. And and why is Earth mother? Why is she the she mother? she nurtures all of us. Even though one million of them fit. Like, how, why is there one million Earths? I don't know. No, you know what? We're just partial we to one Earth. We think Earth is big, but really it's tiny compared to the sun because we've never been to the sun. No, because thou shalt not travel to places you can't come back to easily. <laughs> right? God, people. Uh, Why do you think the submarine is probably not the best thing in the world to just go traveling in? Right? Like it's like we shouldn't go down there. We shouldn't go down to the ocean? We shouldn't go not to, not to the ocean floor, I don't think. No? I don't think we should. Big bad, big bad things hang out. Yeah, that's why when ships out. sink, they're never coming back. Because they're on the ocean floor, Samantha. <laughs> I feel paranoia happening here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, right? Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just All right, saying. Lisa. Samantha. Do you got an eye shake my head? Yeah, my eye shake my head is with grapes. Why are grapes so damn inconsistent? Oh, uh-huh. Because sometimes grapes, you buy some grapes... And they're really, really good. Uh-huh. And then next time you buy some grapes, and they're small and not so good. Mm. But grapes, but what's consistent about them is they're always overpriced. Why are they so overpriced? Well, because grapes are expensive now. Yeah, right? I shake my head at grapes. Mm. I want my money's worth. I just don't think you're a good grape picker. Maybe you shouldn't be picking out your own fruit. I don't know. Remember when we tried the cotton candy grapes and they were a little ill? Yeah. As much as I love cotton candy, I don't think cotton candy should mix with my fruit. I don't mm, no. And then I just think that's weird. How did that process come about? Good question. Right? Is that the like the labradoodle again? <laughs> what are we doing? How is that candy floss cross pollinating? <laughs> does it even have pollen to pollinate? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think it does. No, so I don't know. I don't I get frustrated with grapes. Every week we buy grapes and some gra some weeks are good grape weeks and other weeks not so good. Oh. Yeah. So then okay. I'm not ha then I'm not happy. What about you? You got a nice shake my head? Oh my god. Okay. So I went out and about the other day on Tuesday. Yes. Oh, and I wasn't even driving the vehicle. Okay. I'm like I look to my right and there's a guy on a bike right beside the vehicle I was in. Oh yeah, see that's weird. And then I'll and then my issue started again. Oh, you have bike angst. I have bike angst. Are you a car or are you a bike? Are you a bike acting like a car or are you a bike trying to be a car? Like mm. you cannot sidle up beside the vehicle. No. You have to act like a car, which means you're either in front of us or you're behind us. Yes, or and else go on the sidewalk. You're not even supposed to be on the sidewalk. I know, but you could be. You could be, but are you a bike or are you a car? Are you are you paying attention to the road? Are you going through the lights? Are you are you I know. stopping and Oh my god. Yeah, cuz you're not keeping up with the car. No. Right. So but I can see that. Like, I have such angst in the summer about people who drive who ride their bikes. You always do. You get so worked up about those bikes. Because because people don't follow the rules of the road when they're they on the bike. They do not drives me insane they do not right the rules I just, and i'm looking at this guy and i'm giving my evil right eye like come on <laughs> and i'm like and then i drove my mother nuts it's not is he a bike or is he a car like <laughs> she's like oh my god you sound just like your father but it's true though right they need to decide right they have a crisis identity they have an identity crisis and then i think choose just choose pick something that's all I'm asking. Yeah. I don't think they're going to choose anytime soon. No, probably not. I don't think so. 
Mm. I don't think so. That's my angst of the day. Fair enough, right? <laughs> Fair enough. I think you'll always have that angst, Samantha. I think I will. I yeah. think I really will. I think you really, really will too. All right. Well, that's it for me. This is the end. It's this a song that never, never ends. ends. Who sang it? Do you remember who sang it? <laughs> no. Lamb Chop. Oh, okay. Do you remember Lamb Chop? And, I uh, do, but I don't remember that song and Lamb, Lamb Chop together. Yeah, she used to sing it and at the end of the show. And do you remember uh, Charlie Horse? No. You don't remember Charlie Horse? No. He was part of the show. No. Wow. Where were you? You remember Lamb Lovely. Chop? Do you remember Lamb Chop's mom? Sherry Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. Lamb Chop's mom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Lamb Chop. Okay. Okay. So this is us not being able to wrap things up. I like to not wrap it up. <laughs> That's what I like. I like to just okay. keep on so going. So let's, let's end the anguish for John because he's right. got a lot of fixing to do. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> lot, of, lot, of, lot of unexpected things happened this week. A lot of, a lot of technical difficulties in this one. <laughs> well, you know what? That's what happens, right? You leave it to us. <laughs> Things happen. We've, we've been doing okay, though. It's a weird day. Okay, so guys, just remember to check out our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And, and the TikTok. And the TikTok. I, I underscore shake my head. Okay. And remember to download and subscribe. Samantha, anything else? No, I'm good. All right, Samantha. You know what? Always a pleasure. Ah, should be. Mm. This has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com.